Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about what is relevant record in Pega, how we can mark a record as relevant and how we can use an app studio. Hello guys, please subscribe if you did not subscribe to the channel because I am providing content very regularly. So let's get started into the topic. So what is this relevant records concept in Pega? Relevant records are the rules that are marked for reuse automatically by Pega platform. So once you have configured uh, any rule and that you want to use uh, in App Studio also by other developers, then you can use this. For example, you have an SLA. That SLA you have created in Dev Studio, but you want to make uh, this uh, SLA available in App Studio so that other developers can also use this then you have to go for the option called as relevant records so what are the rules that we can do as a relevant record there is many rules in pega but only few rules we can make it as relevant record so few of them are properties sections harness paragraphs correspondence sls flows flow action data transforms decision tables and proposition filters and while we are making this record as relevant record, you should be seeing that whether it is guardrail compliant or not. Let's see how we can implement it and how we can make a record as relevant in how many ways. So there are two places where you can make a record as relevant record. For example, here configure application inventory and you can see here relevant records. Once you click this, you can see class name. So the basically you can select whatever class name uh, the particular property is present. So here I have two things, one property and one section. In our demo, I will be creating another section. Create user interface. For example, this is one of the section I'm going to create in the same class organization. Now I'm doing a refresh of this. You can't see this section over here. Okay. And now this particular section is already a marked as relevant record. Now I am switching back to Absurda and I want to check whether I can see these two sections or not. I have many sections over here, but I have given just capture user data and action information. Now we have created. But we are, should be able to see only this section in our App Studio. Switching back to App Studio. So under case types, this is my case type, capture account info. Uh, so this is a uh, step. And see here, configure view. So sections are nothing but the views from eight versions. And you can see here views. See, we got only this capture user data. These are OTP sections that are already marked as relevant records. Now I can just click here and I can reuse this. If you want to open and see, you can click this and you can open that particular section as well. Okay, and if you want to add any data or any fields to it, you can click on plus add field and you can do those additions as well. Now, I'm going to Dell Studio and I'm opening this extra information section and now I want to mark this as relevant record means I want to use this in App Studio as well. So to mark this as relevant records, there are two options. One is here you can see here class name add records. You can select what are the rule types that are there. So these are all the rule types that I have discussed you earlier. So there are many uh, other types also like notification, pulse, feed, strategy, valid rule. These are also other rule types that we can make it as relevant record. So there are two ways. Now I can go here section and this is record name. Instead of rule name, they are calling here as relevant record. So record name. So here I can add extra information. This is one way. Otherwise, I'm going back to the section, going to actions. 
and here you can see mark as relevant record once you click this you can see record is marked as relevant at org theme course work this is the class name now i am going back to app studio again and i want to check whether this section is reflected over there or not same i am going to here configure view views you can see extra information is now added okay how we have to unmark or make this unavailable in app studio now we have made this as relevant record now we want to make it as unrelevant record how then you have to go here back relevant records click here mark as inactive if you mark as inactive that record won't be displayed over there now we have removed that uh, particular section right go back to app studio configure view views see now that particular section is moved from here because we make that as inactive now you can go and do this so in this way we can make a record relevant and unrelevant as well so there are many other uses also for this uh, particular relevant records where uh, sla's flows flow actions if those are already having some functionality available in dev studio and our uh, citizen users like bas or some client can directly access those and lot of work will be saved and lot of uh, time will be saved for us if i missed anything regarding relevant records please feel free to comment on the video thanks for watching this video hope you have learned a new concept thanks for watching this video please share this around your friends and pega enthusiasts and support my channel